Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Trey and yes, it's that time again. It's time for me to moan about my football club, FC Barcelona. Oh gosh, let's go. <laughs> What's hot in the news for FC Barcelona? First things first, Barcelona are suing Neymar. What the hell? Seriously, what's going on with that? I mean, I get it. They talked about some breach of contract or something that happened. I don't really understand contracts personally, but yes, Neymar is being sued by FC Barcelona. This is just getting sad now. They've already been paid 222 million euros, nearly 200 million pounds, right? Money. Straight up front cash, dinero, and guess what? They sue Neymar for it, and they've already said something along these lines. If Neymar doesn't agree to the conditions, they're gonna expect the money from PSG. What the? Seriously, guys, Bartomeu and his entourage, they need to get the hell out of FC Barcelona. I'm hoping and praying that this vote of no confidence go our way. I'm begging. Every person who is a Sochi for Barcelona needs to go in there and get Bartomeu out of the club, okay? Because if we win the next game, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to be thinking, oh, we can still win with this team we've got. That team is not good, okay? It's not good enough. It's not a strong team for a team like FC Barcelona to have a team that looks that bad. It's pretty embarrassing, okay? It's embarrassing, okay? I'm not going to be scared to say it is really embarrassing. But on top of that, Barcelona had a bid rejected for Coutinho. We all know this. Yeah, the third bid was rejected. Then they went in for a fourth bid that was rejected immediately. They even tried giving Liverpool, the selling club, a deadline to accept a bid for a player that they've said they do not want to sell. They gave them a deadline. And this is back on Sunday. Sunday was the deadline around 7 or something, 7 p.m. They gave them a deadline and they said you have to accept the bid by then. Of course Liverpool said no, that's the fourth time they failed to sign the same player. And on top of that, guess what? 130 million bid for Osman Dembele has been rejected. Oh yeah, it gets better doesn't it guys? It gets better for the team. I'm speechless with this board, they do not know how to do business. It's their fault that players are being overpriced. It is Barcelona's fault, let's be honest, it's our fault. We had a great player, Neymar, right? Mistreated him. The board guys did not help Neymar whatsoever. When the whole transfer saga from Santos was happening, they had to send Neymar himself so he can stand trial instead of the club helping the player. Like what Real Madrid are doing right now with Cristiano Ronaldo over whatever is going on with the sole tax thing, whether he did it or not, I do not know, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But my point is, the board did not do enough. And guess what Neymar did? He left. Now they're suing him. You can't blame Neymar for leaving. I don't blame him anymore. And on top of that, guys, to make it worse, rumors are coming out saying that Barcelona might not even be able to sign Sarri. They had the time to do it, okay? They had time to do it. They had the money available. As soon as they realized that signing Marco Verratti wasn't gonna happen, they should have gone out and bought the kid. They already knew that the kid was talented. They knew all this, but guess what? They did nothing and waited until the end. Now, Nisa saying that if Barcelona want to buy Seri, they're going to have to pay a bit more. Because you know why? Because the buyer clause in this contract, guys, it expired. Yeah. So now Barcelona might have to pay even more than they were planning. Another fail from that beautiful Barcelona board we love so much. They, they just need to go. They are destroying this club, okay? I don't care if you're a Real fan, if you're a Barca fan, if you're a Man United fan, whatever. If you're a football fan, you will know how bad this board has been for FC Barcelona. And guys, again, I'll repeat myself. This hurts a lot. Not because we lost Neymar, not because like we're losing games, no. It's what they are doing to the club. That's what hurts the most. And to make it worse, I'm pretty sure you all know that Messi hasn't signed a new deal. Same with Iniesta. After what just happened with the whole Neymar transfer into PSG thing, 222 million euros seems like a bargain right now. Let's be honest, teams like Man City are on the watch. They've got their eyes open. Teams like Chelsea, they've got their eyes open looking at this whole thing going on with Messi. Hell, see, they're even looking at Busquets, they're even looking at Iniesta. Why? Because these guys have come and said, look, we don't know what the hell is going on with our club. They don't know what direction the club is going. If Messi was to leave, guys, I will not blame him at all. 
And I'm not, I will not blame Messi at all. Reason being, he deserves better. It's as simple as that. Hell, if this boy is still in power by the end of this season, I myself would want Messi to leave Barcelona. I myself would want Busquets, PK, Iniesta, all those guys, Suarez, to leave FC Barcelona because they do not deserve it, okay? Sorry, Barcelona fans. I'm a Barca fan myself. But I'm gonna be honest, okay? Those kind of guys do not deserve that at all. After everything they've done for the club, they do not deserve what they're getting from this board. This board is a waste of space. They need to go, okay? One way or another, this board has to go. Imagine losing Neymar, right? Messi is stalling signing his contract. Messi, the Messi, the greatest player we've ever had at FC Barcelona, right? He's stalling to sign his contract. Iniesta has come out and said, hey man, for the first time in my life, I'm not sure what I want to do. Iniesta, Mr. Barcelona, the guy who's been there for over 20 years. Like I said, guys, would you blame Messi if he lives? Hell no, I wouldn't. Hell, and like I said, I want him to go if this board stays. Okay, if this board we've got now stays, so again, like I said, sorry, Barcelona, I would want him to go. Because he does not deserve that. He deserves better. Way, way better. The board do not know how to look after the players. They don't. They really do not know what the hell they're doing. Hell, they're even saying to someone like Seiji Sampa, okay, it's time for you to look for a new club. Seiji Sampa, a great young talent. But they're saying to him, ah, we bought Paulinho, so you can look for another team. What? I don't, I, 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 it just doesn't make any sense. This board do not know how to run a football club, period. Guys, if I could vote, guys, I would vote and get those guys kicked out of our club because this is getting ridiculous, okay? It's getting ridiculous. And also, guys, on top of that, guess what Messi just posted? You know what? Hold up. There. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously, look at that. <sighs> like... Ah. <laughs> It's, it's pretty obvious these guys are friends. Neymar was in tears in their last game. Before the game started, after everything that happened in Barcelona with the guy driving a van and you know killing so many people, Neymar was in tears. Why? Because Neymar loves that city. He loves the city of Barcelona. He, he's come up so many times and he said, look man, he'll miss the city, he'll miss the people, he'll miss the, you know, the players. But one thing he's not gonna miss, the board. And he even said it himself. He was like, there's so many people in that Barcelona boardroom that should not be there. Bartomeu, you and your boys get out. A world-class player just called you all out. You know, it, it's sad to see, guys. It's really, really sad to see. It really hurts. For us Barcelona fans, it really, really does hurt. I mean, for a player as big as Neymar to come out and say, there's certain people in that Barca boardroom that should not be there. There's a reason behind it. He's seen all this that's happening in front of him, right? He's seen all of it happening in front of him and he comes out and he says something like that. And guess what happens a few days later? Bassa sue him. It's because he's telling the truth. There's certain people in that board that should not be there at all. But the man and your entourage, bro, just, just get the hell out of our club, dude. All of us Bassa fans have had enough. Please, 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 just leave. But, Anyways guys, I better end on a good note. That is, there's rumors going around that Juventus are interested in Andre Gomez! Oh my god! Yes. Oh yes! Obviously, there was a bid that was rejected for Andre Gomez not long ago, about a month ago. Uh, that really did hurt me that Barcelona rejected that bid. But now Juventus, apparently they're interested. And this is not me taking a dig at Juventus or Andre Gomez. I'm not taking a dig at you, dude. Nothing, it's nothing like that at all. But what it is, it's just, you do not fit FC Barcelona. It's as simple as that. He is not an FC Barcelona kind of player. Same with Paulinho. He does not fit the club. I mean, yes, Paulinho, we can excuse a little bit and say, hey, he's not played, so, you know, let's give him some time to do his thing. Let's see what he can do. But Gomez, we all know he doesn't fit in the team. We all know it. We all know he doesn't, but yeah. Juventus are interested in him and for us, like I said, it's, it's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing. Juventus being interested in Gomez, it means we can get rid of him and hopefully Seri will be signed. But with this Barcelona board, I, I, I'm not even going to put any money on Barcelona signing Seri. I'm not even going to put anything on that because they are terrible at doing business. I mean, yes, 
Good thing is we won our first game. It, you know, it's good. So it's good to see. Um, not the most convincing wins. Messi hit in the post like three times or four times or something. It's absolutely ridiculous. He did. It looked like he wanted to play in that game. He, he just looked bored while he was on that pitch. It did not look like Messi at all. It was just shocking. Okay, it was shocking. So the only thing I'm hoping is that Benedito knows what he's doing and he's gonna help us win this bout of no confidence and get rid of this trash board we've got running our club. I'm praying he can do it. I don't know how, but I hope he does. If he does, I'm gonna be a very happy man. I would celebrate. I'm not joking. I would actually go buy drinks and have a party to celebrate that this board that has destroyed our club is gone. Then obviously there's a process of rebuilding the club and whatnot. Yes, that's fine. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to handle that. It might take a year or two or three. Hey, who knows? It might take longer. But as long as that board is gone, I'll be happy. So anyways, guys, I'm going to bounce because I've had enough of this board. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. This.